Okay. Turn your camera around. Yep, so y'all good. You live. Okay. All right. And then when you finish, you just hit that session up there and say in, in screen. screen. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then you can uh, close, the, close the laptop down. Okay. All right, man. Okay. Thank you, man. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're ready to start. Mm -hmm. You can hear me good, quick. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. All that's here and those that's online. God is good. He woke you up this morning and started you on your way. Mm -hmm. I will start out with just a little talk with Jesus. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by. Feel a little prayer wheel turning. No little fires burning. Have a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Sometimes my path seems drear. Without a ray of cheer, and then a cloud of doubt may hide the light of day. The mist of sin may rise and hide thy starry skies, but just a little talk with Jesus clears the way. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus, tell him all about our struggles. Hear our faintest cry, answer by and by. Feel a little prayer wheel turning, no little fires burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. Hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by, feel a little prayer wheel turning, no little fires burning. Have a little talk with Jesus, makes it right. Well, that's the only one that you can have a little talk with that can make it right. Shall we pray? Yes. Father, once more and again, we just come to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so good and grateful. Yes. You allowed us to lay down last night, sleep in slumber, and you woke us up this morning and started us on our way. Yes. We just want to say thank you. thank you. Because we know that you've seen something in us that we didn't see in ourselves, and you yes. want us just to come out to Bible yes. study today to learn yes. more about you. Yes. That what we learn today may be able to spread the word to those that who are unsaved. Yes. And that once they find out what you can do and what you have done, and what you have done for us, they might come running. What must I do to be saved? Mm -hmm. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you. You've been mighty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh. mighty, mighty. You sit high and you look low, and we know yeah. we do anything but fail. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you and today we want to ask you just to bless Reverend Pender as he brings 
the message in the Bible study mm -hmm. that will help all of us along the way. We are not always full scholars, but every time we come to Bible study, we learn more about you. We just want to say thank you. Continue to watch over those who might be sick. Continue to watch over those who might be sick and set in. Just continue to watch over those who might lost loved ones because you are mighty God. And all these blessings we ask in your name. Amen. Brother Penn to be right back, but you know, God's good. You know, everybody was online last Wednesday about this time, and they're back today because God has blessed them just to be around. And it's mighty good. It's better to be seen than for somebody to become seeing you laid out in a box. Because God has something for you in mind for you to do. Because it's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about letting, our, letting show form or fashion step in. But it's about what he has in store for you to do. That all of see what you have brought to them. Where you lead it, direct it, and guided them along the way. Because it's a good thing when he leads, directs, and guides you along the way. <laughs> it's a good thing. And then when you can just speak on some of the words mm -hmm. that God has given you inside. Mm -hmm. Because I stated before we went on the summer little break, I sang that song, say, lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk. Each day with thee, lead me and guide me, oh Lord, lead me. And that's a good thing. That's something that we must think about at all times, to ask him to continue to lead us and guide us. Because sometimes we might not know where we're going, but if we allow you to lead us and guide us, you know we're going to be on the right road now. So I say, I'm on the right road now, but I fixed it up with my Jesus. And that's a good thing. Anytime we hear these hymns and songs, it puts something in your heart that brings it out that you can do things for Christ. Because as we know, Christ hung and died on the cross that we might have the right to the tree of life. And we're always going to give him all the honor, the glory, and praise, whatever we go through and whatever we do. And we just want to say thank you. Okay, Reverend Penn is back, and I just want to continue to give you all, all the blessings. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. From the book of Acts, uh, chapter 17. We have in 17 we have the gospel. In 16, we had the gospel leaving Jerusalem and other parts of the Middle East and came to Europe. And we're still in Europe because we'll be seeing the gospel coming to Athens, Greece. And as I was watching, where did you say huh? Athens, Athens, Greece. That's where the gospel is going there. And I was watching the, the, the golf tournament Sunday. One little Sunday said, What's been said? And at the Coliseum, they had to King Agrippa. And that's, he was on the uh, head of the stage. His name was there, it was imprinted there because he was the ruler at this time and if, and um it just shows you by me knowing what was what what, what it was and i and and i said we, when we go to the last time we talked we were talking about the gospel left asia mm -hmm. right and they're saying where you right mm -hmm. yeah okay because right. jesus told his disciples to what Go into what? All the, All the world. All the world. All the world. He left Asia. He left Jerusalem. And now they're where? In you. Okay. Someone read the first verse for me, please. 
Read the first two. Was it Acts 17? Mm -hmm. Now, after Paul and Silas had passed through Amphipolis uh, and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. Second verse. Mm -hmm. And Paul entered, as he usually did, mm -hmm. and did for three Sabbaths, he reasoned and argued with them from the scriptures. Read three also. Explain and quoting passages setting forth and proving that it was necessary for the Christ to suffer mm. and to rise from the dead, mm. saying, This Jesus, whom I proclaim to you, is the Christ, mm. the Messiah. Mm. That's verse one through three. Okay. Read forward also while you're there. Okay. And this is the uh, amplified mm -hmm. uh, version. And some of them accordingly were induced to believe and associated themselves with Paul and Silas, as did a great number of the devout Greeks, and not a few of the lead, and not a few of the leading women. And I say as, a, as well as a number of the lead, leading women. women. So, so Paul, Paul then segregated himself to just to men only. Mm -hmm. The gospel would go to what to everybody. Everyone. And you see in Jesus' ministry, the women had a great part of his ministry. Mary and Martha. And they, they, they had a and Lazarus, they had a house where Jesus would meet to them. We meet with them sometimes. So, so and also we see that he first number one that we see that when Paul went into a city, because he was a Jew himself, he always went where? What did he, what did he, why, did, why did he want to go to the synagogue? That's where he would meet the leaders. Pray and what else? Meet with the men. Meet with the, the, the Jews. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell him what he did. He went there. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, as usual, Paul went to the synagogue. Mm -hmm. And on three Sabbath days, reason with them from what? From the scriptures. Why did, why did, he, why did he have to explain the scriptures to them? Some of them, they had doubts, and then they might have had different opinions. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the way they usually did. Mm -hmm. They all discussed the, his views, mm -hmm. their views. No, and what happened is that the Jews didn't believe in Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. They still, still believed in the law. Mm -hmm. So as Paul is a, is a Jew himself, he would go into this Jewish synagogue to talk about who? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus himself was a what? A Jew came from the line of Abraham. Yeah. So, so, and so Paul thought it necessary. They need to be saved too. So he would go in there and what? Yeah, explain the scripture there. Explain and prove that it was necessary, verse 3, for the Messiah of Christ to suffer and what? Rise from the what? Dead. On what day? On the third day. Third day. Okay. Some of them were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, mm -hmm. including the what? A large number of God fearing Greeks, as well as a number of leading women. Okay? Okay. All right. So, so now this default chapter is still in the Thessalonica. They're there, they're, they're there. But now they see it. What then we see there as they were there, see what happened. Verse 5 said, But the Jews became jealous, mm -hmm. and they brought together some of the wicked who might say wicked men mm -hmm. from the marketplace, mm -hmm. forming a mob, and started a riot in the city, attacking Jason's house. They searched for them to bring them out to the what? The people. The people or public assembly. When they did not find them, what did they do? And some of the brothers, before who? Okay, rulers of the city, officials of the city. These men who had turned. Yeah, look at that. And this, this, is, this is very important here. 
These men who have what? Have what? Okay. Well, how did they turn the world upside down? By telling about Jesus. By sharing the gospel of Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how, that, and that's what he mean. They led people from what? From the darkness to the what? Marvelous light. Okay, so so people, by pre you preach to people, you teach to people, you ask God to bless the people, and that some people might be what? Saved. Not some, but all who are there need to be saved. Mm -hmm. Right? All right, okay. All right. So the, then the men, uh, and, and Jason, verse 7, and Jason had to work on them. So they tell him how they got here and who who, who helped it with it. And they and they all are acting what? Contrary to Caesar's what? Decree. Decree. What was that decree? Saying that there and there's a there is a they saying king. there's another king. Mm -hmm. So they knew there was one king, and who was he was king, he was Caesar. But there was another king over who? See, see over the world, over season in the world. Because Jesus is what? That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Very good, very good, that's right. And he said, there's another king, says Jesus. And they were right. There's another king. And they're going to meet him one day. If you don't know him as their Lord and Savior, right? Mm -hmm. The crowd and the city official. Who heard these things were what? They're upset. They were mad. They were hot on the collar, right? Yeah. Angry. The crowd and the city of fish who heard these things were what? Upset. Mine say upset. What do you say? Uh, they were troubled. Troubled? Trouble? Trouble? Okay. Irritated. Irritated. Mm -hmm. All that's all good. That's right. After taking a security bond from Jason and the others. They released him, so they made Jackson pay them what? Pay him some money. That's what they wanted. Anyway. Yeah, that, that based probably what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and taking security bond from Jason. What you what you said? What you said? Number nine. The spirit of Jason and of the other, they let him go. He did what? They let them go. Okay. They took bail. The bail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the same thing. Yeah. They took they took money. They took money from him. Yeah. See. See. If y'all go. We'll get the money back to Jason, but y'all stay, y'all not gonna get basically well, you and get you're not gonna get the money back. And and all of they released them after they got the what the bond. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we go to another city. This is very important very, uh, scripture here too. The Berim searched the scripture uh, 10 through 15. As soon as it was night, the brothers. And sisters sent Paul and Silas away to Berea. Berea. Upon arriving, they went into the what? Synagogue, Synagogue again. Huh? Mm -hmm. they, know, they knew it was necessary what? Right. To preach the gospel to the Jews. Mm -hmm. To witness the gospel to the Jews. But the Jews didn't accept Jesus Christ as being the Savior. They were still under, they still want to hang on to the law. And they knew, and see, we know they knew. Jesus said the law was finished at where? At what? At Calvary. It was what fulfilled. Because the law said Jesus Christ was coming. To die for what? Sin of the world. Right? And he died. And he what? Rose again. He rose again. Right? So, 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 but they, they, their, their point was to go into the Jewish synagogue, synagogue to persuade who? The Jews. Who didn't believe, right? Because some Jews did believe, right? But in the synagogue, you got the hierarchy. You, you still had folk, the, the leading Jews who didn't believe. All right? Mm -hmm. The people were, here was a more, mobile, more noble character than those in Thessalonica. But what your verse said? Huh? Over mind. That's very good. That's, that's good. Yeah. 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 They, they, they kept their mind open. One of the sinners said this morning, yes, I saw yes, there this morning. He said, when you're dealing with people, y'all may have seen. 
He said, two things you need to learn how to do. Go by your, your mind and don't, don't forget, let your heart follow you. Or he start wondering what he said. And so he but and what he said that look, you may think something's right, mm -hmm. but you better check it out with your heart. See, you, you can be led astray. That's right. You see, and that's what that's what happened in this country today. The country led astray. But they're thinking with their mind, not with the heart. See, the heart, the, the, the heart, I think the script said, out of the heart comes of what? Issues, issues of life. Of life. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That, because your heart will tell you what, what needs to be known. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But the mind will tell you what to do. And it told me, so you better take your mind and your heart. Don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> to take both of them. And he was an older guy too, so he's been around. He know he knows some things. He knows some things. Uh, okay. So we we'll first start at 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's, let's see. since they received the word back, back to the level, the people who here, here are more the people here talking about the, the Bereans, the people here were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica. Since they since they received the word with what oh, yeah. oh, readiness yeah. or eagerness, and what what rest of your verse said? Search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. And examine the scriptures. There to see what these things were so. When you go to the doctor for physical, you don't examine yourself. That's the doctor. You doctor, doctor asks, how you been doing? He asked me, girl, says, Mr. Pendleton, how you been doing? I said, Doc, I've been doing pretty good. He said, let me check on you, make sure you're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They send the nurse in, take your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. They take your vital signs and 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 they and, and they, they do all the tests. You have to do, you know, you do the test before you go to the doctor, right? Yeah, I do my I have to do my test when I take a physical. Once a year. Blood, 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 your blood work and everything. And and I do it a week before I go to the doctor. And he had my chat there. He said, you, 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 I guess you are doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. But he said, how, how often do you walk? Last time I lied to him because I <laughs> and some of us lied to him too. I said, I said, Doc, I do three days a week. He said, Well, do four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But but he, he said, You in good shape though. Uh -huh. And really, I was in good shape because I started walking about two weeks before I went to the doctor. I, doing more more. <laughs> I had forgot. I have forgot, but I saw I thought walking about three about three from the doctor. You know, you got prep prep to prep yourself. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got to prep yourself. Instead of going away, you have to prep yourself too. Right? Yeah. yeah. But so so they what they examine the what? The strip, the word of God. How, what are they what do they examine it for? To see if the things were to see if they say was true. That's right. That's right. Examine for yourself. That's right. You need to know the Bible for who? Yourself and take your mind and your heart what with you. And, 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 and because if you know it for yourself, you know what you don't have to take other folk words who don't know the word. Mm -hmm. I try to know the Bible for myself. So when I hear some false teaching, I know how to I know how to say that's not true. You see. The folks say some. Well, even if you know it for yourself, if they say something, you might not know everything, but it's something that'll perk your ears and make you think, I'm oh, quite. What's in your mind and what's in your what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because the Holy Spirit leads you, let you know what's right and what's wrong. So now you hear say, no, that ain't that's not, that's not right. Yeah, that ain't quite right. Something ain't right with this. But see, the more you know God word, the more God can use you. Mm -hmm. The less you know God will, the less he can use you. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. But the Bereans search the scripture, search the scripture what? Daily. daily. What daily mean? Regularly. Regularly, every day. That would mean daily, mean every day. Right. Yeah? You take your medicine two times a day. 
every day, right? I take medicine, I take blood pressure meds every day, I take cholesterol meds every day, and I take some other meds every day. Mm -hmm. But the, the two that I make sure I take every day, don't forget it, is the <laughs> <laughs> blood pressure and the what? Cholesterol meds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. 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 But you need the doctor, you take all of them. You need to take all of them. Right? You need to take vitamins, right? Yeah. If you don't take vitamins, you need to take vitamins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're, you, you're burning young like you used to be. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And, when, and whatever my doctor tells me, that's what I do. I don't listen to nobody else. I don't listen to what the other. No, 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 no. Whatever God say you what? Listen to him, right? 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 Listen to him. Search the scripture, search the word of God, what? Daily. Mm -hmm. Daily. Consequently, many of them, what? Verse 12, believe. Yeah? Including the what? A number of prominent, what? Mm -hmm. Greek, what? Mm -hmm. Greek women. As well as the who? Mm -hmm. See? But when the Jews, here come the Jews again. That's right. When, when the Jews from Thessalonica find out, they in another city. They, 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 this in Berea, they, they, they come from Thessalonica. Consequently, some of, the, some of them believe, including a number of prominent Greek women as well as men. But when the Jews from Thessalonica find out that the word of God had been what? Proclaimed by who? Paul at Berea. They came up to. What do they do? They agitate and upset the crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the brother and sister immediately what? Sent Paul away to go where? To where? Okay, I got to the coast. But Silas and Timothy stayed there, so left two what brothers there. Stayed on their on stay down, stay. Timothy, but Silas and, Tim, and Timothy stayed on there. Those who escorted Paul brought him as far as what? And after receiving instructions from Silas and Timothy to come here, come to him as quickly as possible. So he said, "Look, no, y'all stay there, but when I call, but soon as you finish your work, come up, come to me." You see, see the more witnesses you have for God's word. The better, the more people you can save. Mm -hmm. See, Paul won't no longer. No man in the island, right? You don't be standing alone. Sometimes you need to stand alone, but if you're gonna witness to people, when you go on the street, we just go, we go on the street and witness to people. We always had we won't, we won't have about sometimes five, sometimes ten people. The more you have, the more people you can reach, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. But don't, you can't go with one, but it's best to go with somebody else. Jesus is the witness of two, two or three, I think he said. All right. Okay, where we stop at? 15? 16. Okay, six, yeah, 16 now. Now, Paul is in where? He's now he's in Athens. While Paul was writing, was waiting for them in Athens. He was deeply what? Oh, distressed, yeah. When he saw, what, why, why was he distressed? What is idols? False God, yeah, false God, yeah, false God. And, 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 and uh, the, um, the Greek had many false gods. And as, as when the Greek, Whenever a nation would capture another nation, they would take the God that they are serving with them to, 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 to their place. Mm -hmm. So the Greek, so so the Greeks had many false gods. And so now, and when, when the Roman Empire comes in, they take the Greek God and, and take with them to Rome. You see. So 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 idols of what? False gods. They can't see, hear, or taste, right? They're nothing. But like I'm telling you about, 
and 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 Athens full of the, the Colosseum places in Athens and in Greece and Rome, they're full of idol gods. So the Christian had to be warned, don't you know, when you go into a place, don't bow down to what? Idols. You don't tear down the idols because they're not yours. You wish to what? Gospel to people. And then they can both be saved, right? What verse we stop at? Uh, 17. Let's see. So he reads in the synagogue that Paul. So he reads in the synagogue with the who? With those who what? Worship God. As well as in the marketplace. How often? Daily. Daily. Every day. With those who what? All right, who happened to who happened to be there? So he what he met with them, and he what he teach he taught the word of God, right? He taught them he taught them the word of God, and some of the what Epicureans and Stasic philosophers also debate debated with what with him. Some said, "What is this ignorant show off?" Trying to say, what your what your Bible say? Babylon. The Babylon. Hmm? Babylon. Babylon. Yeah, yeah, Babylon. With his crafty. Yeah. See, these guys were what false teachers, mm -hmm. and they were always trying to see what somebody had some better to say. Our world, our world, full of today. Mm -hmm. Other reply. He seems to be a preacher. A foreign de deity, what you all say? Strange God. Huh? A set of four for strange God. Strange, strange God, okay, 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 same thing. That's what it says, that's what he seems to be, you see. You see, other, other reply, he seems to be a preacher, a foreign de deity, or idols, or, or whatever, false God. Because he was telling the good news about who? And the what? And the resurrection. He preached Jesus. He taught Jesus about and taught about what? He died. And what else? He rose. Okay. They took him and brought him to Arrow Paragus and said, May we learn about this what? This doctrine. A new, a new teacher. You are what? Who's in it? Huh? New religion. Okay. Because they, because what you say sounds what? Strange to us. See, they never heard about the gospel. They heard about it, but they never spent time hearing it. Because the gospel was everywhere. But it, it, it got to you. So they, they may have heard about it, but they didn't understand it. Because they always want something new. The only world, the world wants something new now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you need. Very good. Yes, you need. Yes, you need. That's right. They want something new. They took him. Okay, we said that. That, that. that we may learn about this new teaching you're preaching. Because what you say sounds what? Strange to us. And we want to what? Know what these things what? Mm. Mean. You won't understand it. What you're talking about? And all the Athenians and foreigners, foreigners, what your Bible say? Stranger, residing there, spent their time on what? Nothing else. Nothing else but what? Either to tell or to hear some new thing. <laughs> and we said that there, there was the uh, for thought. Uh, the, uh, what do they call them? The, uh, they were the Stasic philosophers. Mm -hmm. It says in verse 18, mm -hmm. they, they were the Stasic, it was, mm -hmm. some of the, Epicure, the Epicureans and Stasic philosophers. Mm -hmm. they, they, they also debated with him. So, so they want to hear some what? New. Mm -hmm. And Paul told them what wasn't new because it had been, been proclaimed from Genesis to Revelation. 
So, so he not he said you have this is what he basically saying. This is not new. It's new to you. But it's proclaimed where in Asia and some parts of what you right? Yeah. Now we have Agapirus Agapirus address. Paul stood in the midst of the Arab of, of the Aparagus, Aparagus, and said, People of Athens, I see that you are extremely what? Religious in what? In every respect. He said, You got religion, you're religious. But what you what what what, what you put your trust in is what is no good. You see? A whole lot of folk believe. But they're not believing the gospel. Mm -hmm. Many people have their own opinion mm -hmm. about the world, about the gospel. Some folks saying there's no other way. Some folks say there's no other way, but Jesus, other folks say there are other ways. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, Well, I am the way. Mm -hmm. The truth and what else? And the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can what? Come to the Father except by me. That's it. That's it. So Paul, so, so Paul tell me, you may have another doctrine, but it ain't no good if it ain't about Jesus Christ, right? But God sent him there. The Holy Spirit sent Paul there to what? To preach and teach to the what? To the Athenians, right? Yeah. Uh, we're talking about verse 22, right? Yeah. So 23. For as I was passing through and observing the object of your what? Worship. I even found an altar on which was inscribed to an unknown what? Uh, and look what Paul said. Yeah. Therefore, what you worship in ignorance, unknown, this I proclaim what? To you. Because God is everywhere, right? And what and what the and what the, the people who worship out of God, they won't leave no, no God out. You see. Just in case, they said, just in case, just in case now. He might be he might be better than what we got. They want to prove to everybody. Yeah. But they won't, they won't, they, they, they always put one to, to the unknown God because they say maybe he's stronger than the other God. Yeah. So therefore, therefore the, the, the worship. So if you read the Old Testament, sometimes you see, you see sometimes that that that, that, that the prophet that, that the prophet tell them that that you may be worshiping, a, you may know about God, but you don't know God. Mm -hmm. And the prophet proclaimed that He is God. He's the Maker, and we we'll see this later on. I don't say it right now. Hold that back. Hold that back. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see this trip. Wait, 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 we stop that. 24. The God who made the what? Right. And what else? He is what? Lord of heaven and earth. And what else is that? <laughs> he don't he don't dwell in shrine. He don't dwell, he don't you can't put him on a tree and worship him. Because he owned the tree. He made the tree. Right? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and do, do not live, he does not live in shrine made by what? Hand. He made the hand. He made man. All right. Neither is he what? Worship. Worship by what? Yeah. A human hand as though he what? Yeah. Since he himself what? Yeah. All life and breath and all things. All right. And he tells him, he don't need nothing. Right? He don't need no help. Right? He made he don't need anything because of what he made everything, right? Mm -hmm. We see where, where do we see that at in Genesis? That's right, that's right. In the beginning, I mean, what, what, what it said, what, what it said in the beginning, in, in, uh, in the beginning, God what created the what earth. earth, all right, all right, heaven and what, and we know from Genesis, we all see that God made who man. Amen. In his image, and he and he put out his feet and made who a woman. He created the whole earth, and he gave it to Adam and Eve to what to take care, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Adam and Eve had what? Other children, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And, and then from there you had other generations that came out from them, right? Yeah, okay. They were said, for instance, from one man, he made what? There you go, there you go, there you go. And what? And had determined that they are appointed time, and he had determined their appointed time. And the boundaries of where they live, what do you all say? And the bounds of their habitation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did this so that they might what? Seek the Lord. Seek God. And perhaps they might what? Feel after him. Or reach out and find what? Him. Find him. Though he's not what? All right. So God, so that's why anybody can be saved. On, on the seven continents, anybody can be saved because God is not what? Far from them. Jesus is not far from them, right? Mm -hmm. He said, if you call on me and what? I'll be there. Yeah. I'll answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. We read the scripture all the time that for God so loved who? The world, the world what? He made it. That he gave who? The only His only begotten son. Mm -hmm. For who? The world. Mm -hmm. What else? Believe in him, not perish. perish. You won't perish, right? If you believe in him, you won't go perish, right? right. And what else? Have and you will have what? Have everlasting life. Right? He didn't say we wouldn't die. Right? But when we die, we go to heaven, what? Be with him. Right? Right? Yeah. yeah. But we'll live forever. Because we'll be with him. Right? Okay. Okay, where we stop at? Uh, 28, 27? Yeah, 28. Now, 28. Look what Paul said. He said, For in him we live, move, and have our work. And even some of your work, own work, what? Have said, right? For we are also his what? Offspring. He said, some of your folks talk about it. They don't know him, but some of them talk about it because some of them know probably read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And they probably and, and they probably not have been converted. I don't know if they have been converted or not, but they say, look, some of your Paul, some of your ports have said what? Some of your port, your ports have said what? We are his offspring. Okay. Since then we are who? God what? Offspring. offspring. We should think that the divine nature is like we should not think mm -hmm. that the divine nature is like what? Silver or gold. Silver gold or what else? A stone. A stone. What else? Okay. An image fashioned by human or imagination. Therefore, having to overlook the time of ignorance. What did God do? God is spirit. And he ignored and allowed it to pass unnoticed. God, okay, God now commands all people everywhere to what? To repent. To repent. Mm -hmm. Because he's what? He has set a day when he's going to what? Just In what? Right, right. By who? Man whom he has destined and appointed for the task. Who is that? Lord Jesus Christ. He had provided what? Proof of this to everyone by what? What do you say? Uh, he has made credible and given conviction and assurance and evidence by everyone from raising by raising him from the dead. Okay, all right. So you made, because he raised Jesus from what? From the dead. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He didn't stay in the grave. He stayed in the grave on what? Three days. Three days. On Sunday morning, he what? He he got up from the grave, right? Mm -hmm. And and the people saw him. They walked with him, right? Yeah. The disciples saw him, right? Yeah. The other women saw him. Martha and Mary, they saw him, right? Yeah. Because he had said a day when he's going to what? Judge the world. And how he going to judge the world and what? Not in sin, but what? 
in righteousness by the man he had appointed. So, so Paul's and this world is, is going to be judged by what righteousness, because Jesus is what righteous. And what we have said, what the preacher said to people, what the preacher preached, what the preacher teach, what we are witness, we witness in what God's righteousness. And, and if the world trusts in Jesus Christ, they shall be what? Saved. Amen. And he's going to tell the world one day, I'm judging this world in what righteousness, not what y'all think, what y'all didn't do, but what you should have done. Right? Because they're seeing them come up before them. Right? Where the believer will what? Be with him. To what? Judge the world. Right? When they heard about what? The resurrection of the dead. What happened? Oh, no. They mocked him. him, right? But what? Others said what? He will hear thee again of this matter. <laughs> Go ahead, boy. Go ahead. They look, man, too. We, we don't we're not satisfied we won't hear what this again you see see the church come come to bible study Sunday school church and church service because we won't hear it again see the word help us what to live right mm -hmm. help us understand we, when we te teaching and preaching we what understand what the word of god says right it helps us to what to help us right mm -hmm. all right they really call him Brother say we will, we like to hear from you again about this. That's, that, 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 that's, good, that's good intellect, right? Mm -hmm. They made the right decision. If we don't understand, but it sounds good. Mm -hmm. See? And we won't what? We won't hear you again, man. Yeah. Made them thirst. Huh? Made them thirst. Good, good. That's right. They, they, they gave them a thirst, right? And what does church say? Bless those who thirst after what? Righteousness? Yeah. Huh? From my name you say, okay. So, so so when he preached the word to the people, it it, it, it didn't tickle their ear like the other stuff did. They took hold of it. Right? And they said, look, man, it sound good. See, folk come to church every Sunday and hear the preaching. And it sounds good. Soon they got to go to the devil and you ain't, ain't missing nothing. Like that. <laughs> yeah? Because the devil comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. They said, Look, so you'll be all right, man. Don't go back next time. Mm -hmm. But those who want to hear God, voice again, who want to hear what God said, they say, I think I'm going back next time. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a conscious Yeah, that's right. That's right. And the conscience tells them, Look, see, see that's, that's good news. And say so you and God is God talking to them, so that's good news. And say, so if I were you, I'd go back next Sunday. Right? And they come back Sunday after Sunday and they join the church. Right? Because they want to do what? They want to hear the king. Right? That's what, that what the folks say. They said, We want to what? We want, we want to hear the king. That's good, that's good, that's good preaching sermon there though. Yeah, that's good title. But they said, We would like to hear from you. Again, about this matter. That's what, that's what the preacher does every Sunday. That's what teachers do. You preach, you teach the word of God, and folks look, we won't hear it again next Sunday. Right? You go home and read it. You go home and read it read because it pricked your heart. So you say, I want to read it. And I want to know it for myself. Right? Yeah. So Paul left that what? Present. However, some people what? Believe to join him and what? In, 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 including who? Okay. I got Dionysus. Uh -huh. and I probably got a woman named Damaris mm -hmm. and others. Yeah. Others. Mm -hmm. Hmm? This is what? With this. Mm -hmm. So whenever the word of God is preached, whenever the word of God is taught, you know, you witness the word. Because we can do more witness than we can preach it. The pastor preach, he teach, he lives, he share the gospel. But it's our job to what? To share it ourselves. Right? 
We are all called to be what? Be a witness. Right? A witness to what the truth. Because what God did for us, he'll do for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's the key. That, that, that's what, that, because that's what the folks said. They said, look. 34 said, however, some people joined them. And what? Believe. See? See? And he had people going with him. You see? All right. Amen. Thank the Lord for the, for the for the teaching. And thank the Lord for your appearance. Amen. Amen. And then, see, see, you don't teach it. The more people you, you teach, the better off you make, the better off you are at teaching. You see, and Jesus said, well, Jesus said, well, two or three or what? They have be what? That's right. And so, and that's what Paul had. Paul, as he, by Paul teaching and preaching, the more people got saved, the stronger he got. You see? Because he saw, he, because he see what God working in what? In their lives. How God can see. And so God don't care about false, false gods. They're nothing to him. They're trash. Right? And they trashed you us too because they can't save anybody. But when you when folks hear the gospel, when people hear the gospel, it changes their what? Life. Right? Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. I don't know when I'm gonna teach again, but but you can read. Matter of fact, just read throughout that. Just read the rest of the chapter. Read the whole book. Read the whole book because. You, you 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 see the church being you see in the church expanding. You see, it goes from one continent to what to another continent. When it, and it get to Europe, it came to Europe, and it came from Europe to where? To America, right? Yeah, it came from Europe to America. It went to it went to and we know it went to Africa because when the uh, the Ethiopian brother, the Ethiopian heard of what gospel. And he, and he took it back to where? Africa. And there were other African problems there also. You see, so so it, it, went, it went to Africa, it went to Europe, and it came where? To America. It left Asia, went to where? Europe. And the gospel also preached to, by, by, it went, preached to what? Africa. And from, from Europe, it came to where? America. And then it went all over the world in China. Right? The Chinese church has a great memory of witness. It's an underground church, but it has a lot of Christians in, 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 uh, in uh, China. Uh, Russia has Christians in, in Russia too. But wherever Jesus is, wherever country God made it, and he had what witness there. They may be silent witness, but they are there. Amen? All right. Thank the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. I want to thank everybody who's online. We enjoy your company and we hope you got a blessing. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to teach. We ask you, Lord, that you will bless each member here, each visitor, that we will take your word and those online and on Facebook or, on, or whatever they own, Father, we ask you that you will bless them. That they would take your word and, 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 and apply it to their lives and share it with us. Um, thank you for all things. Bless you. Continue to bless our pastor and his family. Bless every member of this church, Lord. One by one, name my name. Bless all the visitors that come in our church, Lord. We thank you, Heaven. We thank you for our, the visitors that came today. We thank you for those who come often, often for to the Bible study, and, and Sunday school, and Tuesday Bible study. Father, we thank you and we praise you. And we just magnify your name. For in Jesus' name we do pray. Bless you all the blessed sick. Bless the sick of St. Matthew Baptist Church and other churches, oh Lord. And heal, Lord. We ask you to bless the prisoners, oh God. Bless those young folks that, that sitting out there that in the street. Bless those of Baltimore that was shot last night. Watch over them, oh Father. Watch over our campus, our college campus, oh Lord. Our streets, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we'll be so great to give your name the glory under the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray you say, Amen. 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 Amen.